Here are five easy origami decorations that you can use for Halloween. Because origami is essential. The first one is an origami bat. And if you stay until the end, I'll show you how I made the wings bigger than the normal design. First, fold the paper in half to make a rectangle. Then open it up and fold it in half in the other direction to make another rectangle. Then open it up again and fold this edge into that middle line that we've just made. Then do the same on the other side. Then open it up again and we're going to fold this edge into this line here. Open that up and fold it in half diagonally to make a lovely triangle shape. And open that up and fold it across the other diagonal. Now all the pre-folds are complete. Now we're going to take these two edges here and fold them down to the bottom. Make sure that you have this side with those two lines closest to you. And if you've made a water balloon, this is the water balloon base. Now we're gonna fold this bottom part here through this line so as it touches the top point up like this but don't squash it down just yet turn it around this way bring this point to the top and then flatten everything down nicely Now we have this little triangle flap here, fold that up to this end. Here's a close up of how it looks so far. Now we're going to fold this end over here and fold this edge back into the middle. Like that. And this edge, we're going to fold in a little bit. So it's not all the way to the middle line, but getting pretty close. Now we're going to do the same on the other side. So fold that bit over and this bit over as well. This edge we fold into the middle. this edge in towards the middle and this goes back over there. Now turn the whole thing over and look at this line along here. We're going to fold using that line. So this comes down like that. Before we flatten it down, we need to fold the pointy ear shapes. So this bit comes over here. Same on the other side. Then this part, fold down like that. 
and same on the other side. This part will fold down like that. Next, this point in the middle, we fold down, which makes a clear head and pointy ears shape. Now we have completed the normal bat design, but let me show you how to make the wings a bit bigger and I think a bit better. Turn your bat over and this part here, we're going to pull down a bit further. The exact amount doesn't matter, but between this line and this line, would be best. Flatten that down a bit. I'm going to roll this part out along here, which stretches out that white triangle shape a bit more, and then flatten down the wing on that side. Then we do the same to the other wing. Roll out that white triangle a bit more, flatten it down, and then flatten the rest of the wing as well. So with that simple step, we have a much larger and impressive looking bat wing. The final step is to fold the wings so as it looks like it's flying. So I'm gonna fold it along that line there, which is the front of the bat's body. So the whole wing's folded across, folded back to this line here. So it's in line with this part here. Then fold the remaining bit back so it's in line with this bit here. Now we do the same on the other side. Fold the whole wing across the bat's body. Fold it back to this line here. And then fold the remaining edge down to this middle bit here. And when you unfold it, it looks like the bat is mid-flight. If you kept your bat with normal wings, fold it in similar places to get a similar effect. So across the bat's body, back down to there, and then across. And you can either keep your bat as an impressive looking silhouette, or you can add a face onto it to give it a bit of character. So that's how to make an origami bat with extra large wings. Which one do you think is better? This extra large wing design or this normal sized wing design? Let me know in the comments. Next, let's make an origami mouse. Let's get started. Start by folding your paper in half diagonally. And same through the other diagonal. Then open it up and we're going to fold this edge into this diagonal line. My cat just scrunched my origami paper. Anyway, we do the same on the other side. Then open it up and do the same but in the other direction. So it was like this, now we're going to do it this way into the middle line. And same on the other side. Now, keep one hand holding this side down and we're going to just move this point so pushing this around, and then this bit goes flat like that. And that lets us move this piece 
around over there and over there like that isn't that cool and we do the same on the other side hold this side down gently push this bit around and then we can fold it flat like that we're going to fold this edge into this middle line like this so just up and up and there we go this becomes one of the ears we're going to do the same on the other side so this edge fold it in to that middle line like that and that will become another ear now turn the whole thing over and we're going to fold this point back over this way about that so it's about halfway between here and here that's roughly where you want it to go then we're going to fold this corner along this line here so from the middle to that corner like this and then same on the other side so this point is folded over between this here and that corner there. This is the mouse's nose. Now we fold it in half this way. Next, I'm gonna fold in the tail. So to do the tail, open it up a little bit, push this down then try and close it again so as this part of the tail folds the other way i'll show you this from a few different angles so from here just close it again i'll show you from the side it was here push it in so push it in so it's folding in the other direction and close it again and from this side push it in there and then close it again and before you fold it down tightly we want the tail to be pointing straight down and just pulling it back about there we're going to do the same thing but in the opposite direction so open this bit up we're going to fold it back up there I'll show that one more time so it was down like this we're gonna fold it back upwards and then squash it down again now this tail looks a bit too big to be a mouse's tail so we need to make it smaller so if we come back into here we're gonna fold this edge into the middle And this edge into the middle there we go the final step is to pop open the ears a little bit so with your ears make sure so they were folded like that and then like that so there's that little bit poking up we're gonna fold this top bit back again it doesn't matter exactly you can make bigger ears or smaller ears I'm just going to fold that back now we're going to gently push some pressure on there and push it so as it stays open same on the other side so mine around the wrong way I need to fold that in and fold that in then we fold the ear back there 
and your mouse is complete. Squeak, squeak. Now it's time to make an origami owl. Let's get started. All righty. Fold your paper in half to make a triangle. And fold that triangle in half again. Now, we're going to lift up one half like this and try and open up the little pocket like this and we're going to fold this point down to the bottom corner here like this down it goes and all of a sudden it's made a square shape i reckon that's pretty cool so let's do the same on the other side so open up the little pocket this corner comes down here And there is our awesome looking square shape. Now we're going to fold this corner and this edge into the middle. And we do the same for the other three corners. There we go. And we're gonna fold this point through this line here. So it comes down like that. Squash that one down nicely. There we go. So now if we open this up, we're gonna fold this corner through this point up to around here somewhere. So it should look like this. And we flatten it down. It makes a really cool stretched out looking diamond. Isn't that cool? Now, people have made an origami crane. Uh, this is the exact same process up to this point. But after this step it will change. So we are deviating from the crane process in the next step. All righty. So we can see one end has some little flaps, a bit like legs. We're gonna fold this edge along this line all the way over like that and same on the other side so we unfold them and then do the same on the other side the same end fold it out like that and out like that and then we, we unfold again so both of those last folds were just to make these creases which make the next step much easier so now we're going to open this up, open this bit up, it folds down flat like that, so from the top it looks like this, that's that sort of shape. So like that. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. Open this side up, fold that top bit down flat, and we want to look like that. All right, now we're missing a point, so we need to fold that other point up. So that's from that's from the back. That just goes up. There we go. Now from here, we have our main piece still here and these two extra flappy bits here fold this bottom main part up to this line here between these two points up to there then we're going to fold this point back so 
So it's level with this middle line along here. So I want it to be level with that. And same on the other side. Fold this up so it's level with these points here. And then fold it back like that. Now, turn it over. This bit pokes out too far. So I think it's easiest just to fold it back in a little bit. It doesn't matter how far you fold it back in, as long as it's not poking out anymore. Now fold the whole thing in half from this point up to that point. Okay, so these sides here make part of the owl's face. You know, they have those little pointy things. Not sure what they're called. If you know what they are called, let me know. This point we fold all the way up to the top. Same on this side, all the way up to the top. And now we need to make a decision which side will be the front, which side will be the back. So if we look at this one, I kind of missed the mark on this side and there's a big white gap down the middle. So I'm going to make that the back. So this point, just fold it up under there like so and that will stay there quite nicely. Now for the front, we're going to make the beak. This bit becomes the beak. You want to fold it down so as these corners will be poking under here just a little bit. I'll show you what I mean. If you leave it there, it's not high enough and the beak keeps coming out. That looks a bit silly. So I'm going to fold it a little bit higher. Now, these corners can be carefully tucked under there. And there is your owl. Now all that's left to do is to decorate it and give it its own unique personality. So that is how you make an easy origami owl for your Halloween decorations. Up next, an origami jack-o'-lantern. Perfect for your Halloween celebration. Let's go! First, turn your paper over and fold it in half diagonally. Open it up and fold it across the other diagonal. Then fold it in half from this point across to this point. Now turn it around and you can see it's made two pocket shapes here. We're going to open up this one, move this point down to here, and then flatten it down. Same on the other side. Now we have these two flaps here, and then the same underneath. Take the flap on this side, fold it across. Now we're gonna fold this line into the middle, like this. And then this line into the middle, that flap across and then fold the next one across as well and we're going to do the same for this one fold this line into the middle and fold this line into the middle then fold this flap back across At this point, there are a few things you can do to personalize your pumpkin. We're gonna fold the top and the bottom parts in, and you can choose how far you want to fold it to get a different shape.
and fold the side parts in. Again, you choose how far and see what shape you get. Now all it needs is a face. Your origami pumpkin is complete. And you've been waiting for it? Here it is, an origami ghost. Perfect for Halloween. Aw, oh, isn't he cute? Let's get started. First, fold the paper in half diagonally. Open it up and fold it in half across the other diagonal. Open it up again and we fold this corner into the cross that we've made in the middle. And same from this corner. And same from this corner. But do not fold the last corner. Open up the other three sections. And this point comes all the way down to the line we just made by folding that corner in all the way down to there. Next, turn the ghost over and fold in this section along that line that we've made. And same on the other side. And turn it over again. And we're going to fold this edge into the middle line. And that will start, that will pop out the little arms of the ghost and same on the other side see there's a triangle shape here and a triangle shape here I'm gonna fold those over like this so this bit opens up like that and we can fold it down to there same on the other side. Open up this little bit by lifting the arm. This comes over like that. Okay, next, this edge we fold into the middle line. And same on the other side. Now these corners we fold in a little bit. Uh, the exact amount doesn't matter as you can change the shape of the head by folding it in more or less. Just try and get it to the same point on each side. And we're nearly done now. The tail we fold over and it doesn't matter exactly as long as it's pointing over to one side. That there looks good. Turn it over. The hands we fold down just like this. And we have one more step which is optional. If these bits keep unfolding, you can tuck them underneath this bit here by opening that up, pushing it in, and then fold it down flat again. Open that up, push this bit in. So that's how to make an easy origami ghost, perfect for your Halloween decorations. Ooh. Oh, you're still here. Well, as a way of saying thank you for watching all the way to the end, here is a bonus model you can use for Halloween, an origami cat. Enjoy. I'm going to show you how to make a cute origami cat and how you can personalize it with a few simple variations. Let's go. First, you wanna fold it in half diagonally to make a triangle. Then open it up and fold it in half across the other diagonal. Now we're going to use the line from our first fold. We're going to fold this point up to where the line meets the top.
Next, we're going to fold this edge so as it's level with the bottom along here. That looks like this. Nice and level, and same on the other side. Now we're going to make the ears by folding this so as this edge is level with this part along here. Line it up so it's level and then squash it down. And same on the other side. Next, to make the bottom part of the cat's face, we fold this corner in about halfway. And same on the other side. And we turn it over. There's only one more fold to do now. And that's the top part of the cat's head over here. First, I'm gonna fold it this way, just to check that it's in the right spot. So I'm folding a line across the ears, like that. And same on the other side. And now we're going to use these two folds and just tuck it in to the back, like that. And like that. There, so now the origami part is complete. All that's left to do now is to draw a nice face for your cat. So your origami cat is complete. Now let me show you how to change the face and the ears so you can personalize your origami cat. If we turn it back over this way, you can change the face shape by folding these flaps in different amounts. You could fold it in just this much. Same on the other side. And that has a big effect on how the face looks. You can also change the position of the ears. If we unfold these as well. Maybe you want the ears to be sticking out a bit more. Let's push them over this way. Then fold these corners back in again. So, that makes a big difference on how the cat looks. There are many options with how you can have the face shape and the ears positioned. So experiment and see what you like the best. So that was five, no, six origami models you can use for your Halloween celebrations this year. I'd love to hear how you're gonna use them, so let me know in the comments. Subscribe for some more origami tutorials and some book folding videos. And remember, origami is essential. 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 Ah!